Welcome to The Missing Piece. Today we're doing a review video for set number 3431, Street Ball 2 vs. 2. This is a sports theme set uh, with N NBA licensing from 2003. This is a 172 piece set with four minifigs. Very unique minifigs exclusive to this set. We'll get into that in just a minute. This set, or with the purchase of this set, you receive the original instructions, which for being from 2003, they're not in bad shape. There is a crease in the middle, and some of the corners are bent up. Um, but the graphics on it are wonderful. Even on the back, it shows uh, some of the other sports themes that they have. The soccer and hockey. Hockey was just awful. But the soccer and you know the basketball are really good. They actually look like minifigs. Um, that stand out of the way. So this is what you get. This is uh, two on two or two versus two. This is the box that it comes with. Again, the graphics on it are great. It's got the NBA licensing on it. Um, doesn't have the Spalding licensing that you've seen in some of the other basketball sports sets. But um, they got NBA jerseys. They have NBA on the backboards. Um, on some of the other basketball sets, it actually had balls that said Spalding on them, which was kind of neat. So, And on the back side of this box, some more really neat graphics, and it shows you some of the options that you have. You can do a really cool trick shot setup or free throw setup. Um, you can really take apart these tiles and do some cool stuff with it. So if we move the box out of the way, this is the set here. If you're familiar with these base ba basketball sets, they uh, offer a lot of playability. Um, the minifigs are really unique because they have spring-loaded hips. So the idea, the, their hips are spring-loaded and their arms are fixed in place. So they don't really move the arms. No, I mean, you can move them down but you can feel that there's a little bit of friction in there. Some, so the whole idea is you bend them over. Oops. Bend them over, pick up the ball, line up the shot. Of course I don't make it. But anyways, you get the idea. I don't know if this guy's gonna make it backwards if my arm's in the way. So it's really fun, especially if you're playing with another person. It's like a little desk game or tabletop game. Um, it does have four different tiles. It has one lar or two large pieces and one uh, two smaller ones that are connected with uh, what is it, two by two tiles. It's all in sand green, so the sand green color of course has been discontinued for a little while and uh, can be kind of hard to find. Um, when we received this set we were actually missing a couple pieces on this. We are missing one of these plates across the back. Um, this is in the, the old gray color. We were missing one of the sand green tiles. I think it was the one in the back there. Uh, we were missing his hat, which I had an extra. Uh, what else were we missing? Oh, and two balls. This only came with one ball when we received it here at the missing piece. So um, it's got the little gate built in here so your figs can walk, come through. And then you got a bench on this side. The other neat thing is the basketball hoops are actually removable. So you can take them off. There's some Technics pieces there that attach to some Technic pieces on the underside there. Um, I don't know. This is really neat. Uh, like I said, it comes with four minifigs. They have the um, spring-loaded action in the hips. Kind of hard to see, but uh, it's there. Boing, boing, boing. Um, does have the NBA licensing on the one jersey there. I think this fellow's jersey here. Hey, NBA number 10. I don't know who number 10 is in anything. I'm not a sports guy, but um, and then these guys are like the street guys. Like, they got regular old street clothes on. Um, some of the minifig faces are just hilarious. This guy's got like some 90s looking goggles even though this is from 2003. Um, this fella with his uh, smirk was kind of funny. Uh, the other thing I guess I could show is that um, they are connected to this hole by the blue Technic pin. But um, that's it. That's It's a pretty neat set. It's fun. Uh, we've had a couple basketball sets here at The Missing Piece, and uh, they sell pretty quick. Uh, this one is currently listed uh, at the time we're posting this video. Um, don't have a price at the moment, but uh, it will definitely be on the website. So check it out. Go to www.themissingpiece.store. And uh, 
I don't know, take a look at the pictures. Lots of details there. There's a nice description. And uh, maybe pick this set up, add it to your collection. The, the one thing when I first seen this set, uh, even before I purchased it, um, I thought this would be kind of neat to set up in like a alley type setup if you had like your modular builds on each side. Um, I thought that'd look kind of neat. Maybe have some parking in the front. So you can have like the Green Grocer on one side and like the movie or Palace Cinema on the other or uh, the new garage or something like that. And then you can have like an alley set up in the middle or maybe a vacant lot type thing. So um, lots of playability and lots of different options to add to your collection, to your builds. And uh, I don't know, it could be yours, I guess. But um, anyways, thanks for watching. Please leave a like, leave a comment. Don't forget to subscribe. And while you're at it, tell your friends about us because it really helps us grow. So until next time, hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.